Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Maverick checking in with another video. This time we're taking a quick look at how to use the AGM-45 Shrike missile in direct mode. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is that the Shrike is not the harm. It can't seek for a bunch of different radar frequencies and home in on them like the harm does. The Shrike is a lot more specific. It needs the correct RF guidance unit fitted to the weapon to go after a specific SAM threat. So you have to know in advance what threat you're going out after. You can't just go shopping like you do with the harm and start YOLOing out missiles at any SAM that looks at you. So the strike requires you to do a little bit of homework and find out what frequency band the SAM you're going after operates on. So to make sure you have the correct guidance unit fitted, you can come into the mission editor and click on the payload and then just click on this little yellow tab on the top left hand corner above the strike weapon. You can also do this on the rearm menu in a multiplayer server. And from here we'll get a drop down of different seekers that we can put onto the weapon and the different bands that they cover. Some SAMs will actually work on two different radio bands, one for the search radar and the other one for the tracking radar. So you would set two missiles for the search radar and you would set two missiles for the tracking radar, for example. Now we're going after the SA-8, so we're going to select the Mark 49 guidance unit, which has the H and India band fitted. Now like we've said, the strike is not the harm when it comes to guidance. Well, it's also not like the harm when it comes to the warhead either. The warheads on the Shrike are like an angry little squirrel. One of them is not that dangerous, but a few of them can do some damage. If you only fire one missile, you're unlikely to destroy the threat. At best, you'll damage the radar antenna a little. That may be enough to take it offline and get the desired effect, but in most cases, you want to be at least double tapping these puppies and get multiple hits on the radar quickly to destroy the system. Try not to space your shots too far apart or the incoming weapons in the back will fail to guide on the radar if the first one damages it and it shuts itself off. Okay, so here's how we set the weapons up. First of all, the most important step, get those Ray-Bans on. Next, come down and set the delivery mode to direct and set the weapon select to anti-radiation missile. Then select the pylons that you have the strike loaded on and turn the master arm to on. If the seeker can see the threat, you'll hear a tone telling you it's found something, but that does not mean that it's in range to hit the target. You ideally want to get as close as you can to the system before firing. So drop down low and prepare for a pop-up manoeuvre on the target. In this example, I'm going to pop up with around about 6 miles to go, get some good altitude so I'm diving nose down on the target at the time of release. I roll the aircraft over onto its back and then pull down roll out onto the fret and let four weapons go by pressing the bomb button as quickly as I can and then drop down low to defend. Now back to base for tea, medals and ladies. See you guys in the next video.